And today I've got some little glass items that I want to talk to you about. Some of you may know what these are, some of you may not. A lot of people don't know what they are. Um, I was in a thrift store and I came across a set of three of these. So I've got all three of them right here. Glass, hole in the middle, and um, they're kind of scuffed, little diamond shapes around the edge. The man in charge of the thrift store thought that these were candle holders. I kid you not, candle holders. So let's think about this. So you got this little thing that, you know, fits easily in the palm of my hand, very small. You stick a candle in here. If it's a tall candle, it could fall over. Even if it's a short candle, what's going to happen when the wax starts dripping down? Is there anywhere to catch wax on here? This is just going to go immediately onto your table. Not a very good candle holder. I think he had them for $3 for all three. Maybe it was $2 for all three. Uh, he didn't think they were of much value either. I informed them that, that they were individual salts or cellar salts. And so he was interested to learn about that. So I wanted to pass that along to you guys of what these actually were used for. Starting uh, before the 16th century, individual salt or salt cellars became used on uh, tables. These are individual uh, salt cellars, salt which means every person would have one at the table. This is before the salt shaker that would be, that's now passed around. So a salt spoon would be used for these. And I've got a salt spoon here. So that is what it would look like on your table, and it would be at your place setting in front of your plate. And you could use it whenever you wanted salt throughout your meal. I have two more here that I got um, several years ago that are much nicer and um, much more crisp in good shape and more decorative. Uh, these salt cellars um, I've had on display for a while with these two salt spoons. A really fun thing to do if you can use if you can find a set. Um, it's very hard to find a matching set of eight. Uh, three is actually pretty good to get. Uh, sometimes you can find them. The thing is they're going to be much more pricey. You're not going to get a set of eight for four or five dollars. They're going to be much more money typically unless uh, somebody doesn't know what they have. You can also get them in sterling. Uh, they don't have to be in glass, but uh, a lot of them are in glass. One thing you can do if you want to use them around your table and you can't afford to buy a really expensive two or three hundred dollars set of little salt cellars, you could uh, get uh, do mix and match to where you can use different ones around the table. Uh, you could do all glass or all silver, whatever you want. Salt spoons, same thing. Salt spoons are really expensive if you find a big set. But individually or in pairs, they're not usually that much money because uh, even if you get sterling silver, the silver content is very, very small on this. So um, they're not worth that much as scrap. And uh, most people don't want them or don't even know what they are. Um, definitely bigger than a Demitas spoon, as you can see. It's about the width of my three fingers, approximately. Okay, I'm going to show you these up close so that you can see them better. Okay, so here they are up close. As you can see, um, diamond shape around the edge. You may not be able to tell with the wear on there, but there is a, quite a bit of wear on these. One thing I have noticed, too, about um, individual salts that are glass is just about everyone I've seen has a lot of roughness around the edge. And, you know, if anyone knows, they can put this down in the comments, but um, it could be wear from use, but it also, maybe they were made that way originally. Maybe that's how the glass was cut or something. I don't know. Um, Here's one of the uh, salt spoons that I have. Uh, very fragile, um, very small. And then I'll show you the other more expensive individual salt that um, is much uh, prettier than the three I got for $2. So if you like this video, please click the like button down below and make sure to subscribe for more updates. I'm going to still be doing many more pieces. Um, probably going to try to put out a video a week on average, and uh, you'll be able to see all different sorts of interesting pieces of China and China patterns. Hope to see you next time.